In this video, you are going to learn how to create a background image to put behind your squeeze page or your sales page. Now, you notice on this squeeze page, we have just a background color behind the table. I'm going to show you how to create an image to put behind there and how to put it on your site. So the first thing we need to do is use a piece of software called paint.net that you can download for free. Here's what paint.net looks like. Now all we have to do is go into image and we will resize and make sure that maintain aspect ratio is clicked. Make this 200. Click OK. Now we have an image that you see is this size right here. The next thing we want to do is pick a color for the background. So we're still going to have a color for our main background and then we're going to put some text on it is what we're going to end up doing here. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll pick a color in the wheel here that we want to use for the background. You can also click on more and in here you could put in the RGB value or the hex value if you know them and you can also drag these around if you want to experiment with the colors a little bit. Now once I'm happy with that I would go and create a new layer. So go up to layers add new layer. Layers that allow you to do different things in different parts, depths of the image, and then you can just edit one layer at a time if you make a mistake without having to change everything. Once you create it, it squishes all the layers together. So now we get our paint, paint bucket. Click on that, put it inside your image, and click your mouse button on the left, and now you have a background image. The next thing we want to do is create another layer. And now what we want to do is use text. And we're going to put our text over top of here. We're going to want to change the color though. So by clicking this little thing, you switch the images around. And if this isn't set to white or whatever color you want, of course, you can go through the wheel and change the color. So once we're happy with that, we can click inside there where we want our text to appear and make sure that you have your font set the way you want it. And we can just call it Easy Money System. Now you could just as easily put an image in here if you wanted to. It doesn't matter what you want to do. Okay, and then at this point what we would do is just drag the text to where we want it. So just by putting your mouse over top of this, clicking your left mountain, you mouse button you can move this to where you want it so let's put it right there let's move it over here a little bit because we're going to tilt it okay and then what we want to do is go into layers and rotate and zoom and let's just move this aside a little bit now if we grab a hold of this you can see that we can turn this like so. So let's turn it like that. Click OK. Now all we have to do is save this and this is going to be our background image. So we'll do File, do a Save As, and then save it as background or whatever you want to call it. We'll call it Back G, and then save it as a JPEG. Pick where you want it on your disk and click Save. Okay, and then just go through here. It's asking about the quality setting. Just see, leave it at the default. Click OK and then Flatten. And this is now saved to your disk. Now all you have to do is move it in where our website source is. Change the source to add the background. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay, so here is the source of my website, and this index page is the one we're modifying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this with another free program called Composer. And you can also download that for free, and I got both of the links to Composer and Paint.net in the resources document. So let's open up Composer. Now we open our website by clicking the open button and navigating to it. 
Now what we do, we just go to Format, Page Colors and Background. Then all we do is select our background image by clicking on this button. Click Back G, which was what we named it. Click OK. Now we save this. And now we will refresh. And there is our new background behind our website. So that's how easy it is to create your own backgrounds for your websites.